Countless nonprofit organizations solicit gifts from donors or partners without any idea whether the project they are pitching will even make a difference, or even if that matters. While most partners live by the principle, when you know, you know. And when they know a project's good, they fund it. Today, we're going to look at what determines a good project for funding. Let's get right into it. Years ago, I heard of a nonprofit organization that created a program that was touted as being able to make a difference in the Latino community. They created the program specifically to get funding from a Latino donor. The problem was that program used the same practices, principles, and assumptions that worked in the predominantly white community. And not surprisingly, the donor saw right through this error in judgment and what they were trying to do. Not only was he frustrated that they were planning to reach his community in a strategically ineffective manner, but he was also insulted that they would create a program just to get a gift from him. Although they didn't specifically say it, he knew. Needless to say, he wasn't interested in funding the program. And he even decided he was no longer interested in hearing about any program developed by this group. That was a tactical error on their part. Unfortunately, it's all too prevalent in the nonprofit world. Nonprofits are known to create programs that are not in line with their mission, aren't a priority, and don't meet a true need. I'm here to show you what requirements are necessary to receive funding for a good project. Those requirements are as follows. Number one, project meets a true need. A dynamic project is often the determining factor in getting a gift for your organization. But the fact is that a true need is equally as important. A true need is opposed to a felt need. A great indicator as to whether a need is a true need or just a felt need is how you answer the question. What won't happen if the need is not met or better yet, not funded? Will it make any difference at all? If a person is going to die or a whole village is going to slowly fade away unless they receive a clean source of drinking water, chances are that's a true need. If the project just sounds like it might make a difference in a few lives or sounds great on paper but is not based on research or reality, it really might only be a felt need. Requirement number two, project is urgent or at least a high priority. Nearly all nonprofit organizations have operating expenses, and those expenses need to be funded. But in all seriousness, keeping the lights on or making sure that there is adequate carpeting in your headquarters doesn't motivate someone to give a gift. Don't get me wrong, operational expenses are important and need funding, but those are not motivating enough to get a current, let alone a prospective donor, to give a gift. It is essential that in addition to monthly operating expenses that your leadership have at least a handful of high priority projects that need funding. Going back to requirement number one, those projects must meet a true need and a project is a high priority if something adverse is going to happen if it's not funded. Priority projects can and should be identified at a minimum annually so that they can get funded. Many donors or partners are waiting and are delighted to fund urgent or high priority projects. Our organization determines priority projects on a quarterly basis because the priorities change so quickly and our partners or donors want to know what's urgent often enough. Requirement number three, project is unique and or your organization is unique in one or more ways. I have mentioned often that donors or partners, especially major donors, want to fund projects that are unique. If there are organizations in your city that do something similar to what you do, you must find those elements, strategies, or plans that set your organization apart from the other organizations. It's those projects that receive the funding. You need to ask yourself, what is it that sets our organization apart from all the others? I've used the analogy many times that Colgate doesn't want to compete with Crest. Frankly, Crest has nearly twice the percentage market share of Colgate and nearly twice the marketing budget of Colgate. 
Therefore, Colgate doesn't need to compare itself to Crest, but instead needs to emphasize those things that make it unique. We have more whiteners, more brighteners. Your organization needs to do the same thing. Look for three to five things that make it unique, especially if those uniquenesses lead to better overall results or outcomes. We ensure that more homeless individuals are fed at Thanksgiving than any organization in town, or we bring a reality-based solution to those high school students dealing with loneliness and depression, and we do it in more high schools than any organization in town. That's not designed to be a knock on any other organizations, but just to lift you above the noise of the masses clamoring for donor dollars. Every donor or partner, especially entrepreneurs, want to give to unique and different ways of accomplishing the same task. Requirement number four, project has a deadline. Just as we immediately look for a due date when our gas, electric, or water bill arrives in the mail, our donors or partners look for and respond better to a deadline. A deadline brings a sense of urgency and gives people a timeline to respond and hopefully consequences if the need is not met in time. Without a deadline, the donor is not motivated to move quickly and sees no need to respond today. Without a deadline, people think, well, I can give whenever. And that usually puts your appeal on the back burner where it's often forgotten. As humans, we respond to the tyranny of the urgent and having a deadline in most cases brings your appeal or opportunity to the top of the priority list. Requirement number five, project is in line with or flows out of your mission statement. Any project or appeal must flow from your mission statement. It is your plumb line. I've seen too many nonprofit leaders create a need or opportunity based on what they perceive to be the donor's interests, like the example that I shared earlier, and that may or may not be in line with the organization's mission. This leads to nothing but disaster. First, the donor can read quickly that you're asking for a program that is more in line with their interests than yours. But they also find it strange that you're deviating from your mission. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big advocate of finding the intersection between a donor's interest and your mission. But crafting an appeal simply to meet the needs of the donor and has no real connection to your mission is never the right thing to do. Second, creating a project that is not in line with your mission can get you way off track in your plans and often is more draining on your human and financial resources. Major corporations see this all the time when they deal with mergers. A corporation has been successful with a product line and then acquires another company that has a completely different product line. Often, the acquiring company has little or no understanding of the new product line and the division fails, as does the merger, because it's lost its direction. This usually leads to the acquiring company selling off the new acquisition after a few years or leads to enormous losses. The same occurs with nonprofits trying to push a project that is not a part of their mission. Requirement number six, project need has been well researched and documented. Many donors or partners see their giving as an investment, and as such, they like to do homework before investing in your project. If your organization has already done the research for the donor or partner, it will give your organization an advantage over the competition. It will undoubtedly expedite a possible gift. Not all donors want or need documentation to back up their thought process regarding giving, but many do. And if you are out front of their needs, that will endear you to the donor and most certainly help get you that gift. Determining what makes a good project is essential to any appeal and should be part of the process before crafting any proposal or appeal letter. A good project will motivate someone to give and give them the rationale needed to make the decision they wanted to make anyway. I hope you found this video and the contents helpful. If you did, hit the like button and add a comment below letting me and this community know your thoughts on these. If you feel differently about what determines a good project or if I missed any element, please share that with me in the comments section so I can help our entire community get better. If you enjoyed what you heard, please subscribe to this channel and share this with your friends or colleagues. There's no cost to you. 
We're building a movement through a community of life changers and it's my desire that by subscribing you'll learn principles and practices that help you secure the resources necessary to accomplish your mission and change the world. Simply hit the subscribe button and click the all bell to be notified when the next video is released. If you want to find out what to do and say during a meeting with a donor, watch this video and raise more money than ever before and better our world. I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.